My name's Peter. I'm never on stage, but I know how to give them a show. <laughs> Is that how they do the intro packages? Because I would love to sit and pitch as many ideas as I can. I can pitch until I am blue in the face. And today I'm going to pitch myself. So, here we go. Yes. <laughs> My name's Peter Fenton. I am 27 years old. I'm working as a freelance copywriter. Um, and also I teach middle school theater classes. And I live and work in New Hope, Pennsylvania, which is like... Halfway between Philly and New York City, they call it Fire Island on the Delaware because this town is hella gay and hella touristy, um, which is great news for me because I work as a server and bartender as well, um, and I've actually worked as a shot boy at one of these big gay parties. I get a lot of attention and cash at these parties, and, um, well, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty good-looking guy, if I do say so myself. I don't think I'm going to be in a room full of gay men in the Big Brother house, so I'll probably have to bring in some of my other marketable skills. Although, although, I will say, straight men like being flirted with, um, and I am never above giving a man attention. <laughs> but in general, I'm very good at making myself laugh and getting other people to laugh with me, and I think there's just like a sort of approachability and non-threat factor to me. I'm five foot seven. I'm 150 pounds. I am, I'm your standard non-threatening small gay boy. Um, you know, Tommy Brocco from Big Brother 21. I feel like he's a pretty good analog for me, which I think belies the fact that I am, I'm, I'm a strategist, but I'm a selective truth teller. You know, every single word that I say is true. I like to tell people 70% of the story because you can always bury something in that last 30%. You know, I, I do that as a server at the restaurant. This is my favorite thing on the menu. It actually translates to, this is my favorite thing for you to order on the menu because it racks your bill up and then you will want more expensive wine with it and you know, so on and so forth. And then my tip is big. As a devout Christian who is also gay, which that's a fun little minefield paradox that my life has worked its way into, um, I really want to be a positive representation of gay people for Christians and for Christians for gay people. Because I feel like collectively, the Christians of our country have lost our shit. Like, I, that's, that's not, that's not an exaggeration. Like, when I find out somebody's a Christian, I usually don't take comfort in that. I need to know whether they're a love your neighbor type or whether they're a storm the capital type. And... I hate that it's a valid question, but but it is. And I am so ready to be America's new gay best friend. And you know, it's so weird that Big Brother has gone 24 seasons without a single man named Peter. I mean, also no single woman named Peter, but that's way less interesting. I believe it is because the Big Brother gods have been waiting for me to be ready. And I'm ready now, so give me a call.